In the beginning, we are told, there was a journey, there was a donkey, there was a community, the Magi, there was a man and a woman, a family, the woman searching for a place, a safe place to give birth. And in the Irish language, that place where you were born is known as an art in a rugged clue. The place where you were born. And in the old days, that place was considered almost sacred, as having a special quality that distinguished it from every place else. And it was when I was 13 years of age that I had my first experience of returning home for Christmas to my place of birth on Art in a Rugig May. I'd been away for the previous three months, but prior to those three months, I'd never spent even a night away from home and hearth. And after such a long absence, September, October, November, an absence so laden with longing that it had opened the door to the wolf of loneliness. But now, I was returning home to the place where I was born. As the train pulled into the station, through the black smoke, I caught a glimpse of our pony and cart beside the station wall. I caught a glimpse of my grandmother standing on the platform, noble in countenance and in bearing, although she was nearly 80 at this time. In her long life, she had never owned a bank account, never made a phone call, never seen a television screen or a movie. And the only water she ever drank, as she put it herself, was wild water, water straight from the spring. In our long journey home through the narrow winding road known in Irish as Bohuri Nathinabacht, the little road of the poor people. Every bend and twist of that road, even the shape and form of individual stones in the walls at each side of that road, all of them had presented themselves to my memory and imagination almost nightly for the previous three months. We emerge at the brow of the hill, and there we always rest. The pony stops and feeds on the grass at the sides of the road. My grandmother gathers her blanket around her and turns her back on what she calls the outside world, and turns her face towards home, towards home and hearth, towards family, friends, and neighbors towards the still smouldering embers of the old communal way of life, there to rekindle the flame in the hearth of a communal Christmas at the far end of the remote parish of Thompelan Glownthorn. 